but it's a genetic thing, right? You cannot change it at all, no matter what you do. So my question is, if you can't change it, what are you meant to do? Are you just meant to lie down and die? Lie down and die, just give up everything? Oh, I'm not tall, so I'm just gonna give up. Is that what you fucking want? No, fuck that. Okay, all right. Now, if you're a short guy, I've requested you to watch this video. I wanna talk to you face to face, man to man, okay? Now, it doesn't matter if you're not a short guy, it doesn't matter, but this video is for short guys. There's a limit to how short you can be, I mean, uh, I'll be real here. I'm talking short as in average height kind of guy. You know, you're not six foot, you're not some big guy. Yeah, average height, that's what I am. I have no problem getting women. I have no problem at all. I'll make that clear. There are people I know who are much taller than me, who are older than me, they, who seem like they check all the boxes, but they come up to me and be like, bro, how, how do you do this shit to you? How do you talk to all these girls? How do you, what is it that you do? They come and ask me. Now, mind you, again, these people are, for one, taller than me, right? Older than me, and they look great because they take care of themselves and they got all the boxes checked, but yet they still struggle getting women. Now, it's not even about getting women, it's about respect as well. Now these taller guys, bigger guys, they respect me, right? They, because they know the work I put in, they know the kind of person I am, they see me in the gym every day, they see me putting content every moment. They see the balls I have when I talk to them, when I, when I communicate, when I shake somebody else's hand. I just want to interrupt here while I was edit editing that video, I kind of noticed I was sounding like a bit of a dickhead cunt and I kind of want to explain, okay? Basically, I'm still in the pursuit of getting myself to a point where I act and my life is the way I want it to be, right? It's a, it's a journey of getting there. But one major point is that you will never get there if you yourself don't believe you are that person capable of getting there, if you know what I mean. Like, nobody's going to make you confident. Nobody's going to give you that big bark fucking personality. Nobody's going to give you big balls. Nobody's going to nobody's gonna make you confident. Nobody's going to give you that energy. It all has to come with you, with who you are and like how you feel about your own action and how you feel about yourself. So everything I'm saying in the video right now is basically me in the process of trying to get to the level I want to be at, the, the kind of person I want to be, the kind of person I want to become in the future. So, you know, I sound like an asshole, but I'm not perfect. I'm still in the pursuit of it. I'm still young. I'm still a fucking dumb kid, right? But at least I kind of have this, I kind of know what kind of person I want to become, what kind of attributes I want to attain. And I'm still a goofy motherfucker, right? I still do dumb shit and I'm not perfect. I'm not trying to bring anybody down. Like, even if it sounds like that, but fucking believe me, just please watch the video. And yeah, I'm just, I'm not being an asshole, okay? I'm just being completely honest here. Back to the video. Now, I'm not perfect. I'm not even, these are all things I am copying from people I look up to from people I think are cool, from, from people I want to be like. Now, one major thing is that people on the internet or just in the world might be like, okay, if you're short, then ha 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 ha. But it's a genetic thing, right? You cannot change it at all, no matter what you do. It's a genetic thing, you cannot change it. So my question is, if you can't change it, what are you meant to do? Are you just meant to lie down and die? Lie down and die, just give up everything? Oh, I'm not tall, so I'm just gonna give up. Is that what you fucking want? No. Fuck that. If you cannot change it, it does not exist. Like, sure, yeah, I would love to be six foot, six foot five, whatever. Of course it helps. It makes you more capable in a fight. It makes you more capable in protecting someone. But you don't have it. What are you going to do? Just give up and die? No. Make do with what you have. Level up the things you can control. These are your finances, your physique, the way you talk, your charisma, the way you operate when you talk to women, the way you operate when you talk to other successful men, how you impress just the people around you. Your aura, your energy, your skills. Can you fight? Can you drive a motorbike? Can you drive a car really fast? Can you fire a gun? I can fire a gun. I've learned. Oh, fuck. I, I, I forgot the most important one. Money. We spend so much time worrying about things we cannot control. These are the things you can control. Fucking learn how to do that. If you're a jacked motherfucker, good charisma, looks absolutely handsome as fuck, knows how to ride a motorbike, knows how to fire a gun, you got millions coming in every month, what the fuck else... Uh, you're, you're done. You've achieved it. Focus on that shit. And if you're young, of course, you can't let, take all those boxes immediately. The most important part, the most attractive, the most respectable part is the pursuit of achieving those things. If you're in the gym every day, somebody might see that and be like, yo, this motherfucker, man, he's in the gym every day. So if I miss a day, this guy's going to get that one day extra gains than me. And of course, people say, well, one day doesn't matter, but that could accumulate over time and this guy's going to fucking kill me. Constant, consistent pursuit. Focus on that. You trying to make money? Keep on trying things. Keep on fucking working towards something. Doesn't matter how tall or short. This advice goes to everybody. Every single young man, tall, short, fat, skinny, like whatever. No, fine, skin you can control. Tall or short. Doesn't matter what genetic shit you have. Look, I've got a, I've, I've got a gap in my chest. So my chest 
isn't perfect. My chest genetics isn't perfect. But I have pretty good back genetics. I have a pretty good fucking face. Decent shoulder genetics. Whatever. Maximize whatever you have. And play the cards you've been dealt in life. That's, that's all you can do. That's all you can ever do. If you don't have something that's good, you cannot give up. People will tell you you have to give up. No matter how successful you get. When I get successful, I know people are going to point shit at me. Oh, this guy's brown. This guy's not tall. This guy's whatever. Well, you know what? Fuck you. These are things I cannot control, right? So why should I worry about them? It goes one, one year and out the other. It doesn't even matter. It doesn't even go in one year. Just fucking, it's not real. If you cannot control it, if it's not your fault, if you can't change it, fucking stop caring about it, okay? That's it, man. That's completely it. People want you to lie down and die. Like, like it doesn't fucking matter. Whatever you've got, just run with it. Pick it up, grab it by the balls, and tell life that you can fucking take whatever the fuck you want. That's the kind of energy we need. And that way you'll attract the women, you, you'll do whatever. And of course, there's some things that can't be done, right? If you're, if, you're, if, you're, if you're trying to date a girl who's taller than you, I know guys who have done that, like guys who are absolutely tiny with a girl who's much taller than them, but this guy has the biggest balls on the planet because when he walks, you're like, okay, this guy's a fucking G. He's small, but he's a fucking G. Like me and my friend were talking about this yesterday. This guy is absolutely tiny, but my God, when he walks, he's a fucking G. He's an absolute fucking G. Absolute sick cunt. Shit like that. Focus on what you can control. Maximize those things. And fuck everybody else. Right? Fuck it, we ball. I'll catch you in the next video. If you like my energy, if you like whatever I said in this video, if you liked anything about this channel, anything, any words that came out of my mouth, please message me on Instagram. Just connect with me. Talk to me about your life, whatever you're working on. Because I want to connect with more young guys who are on top of their shit. There's a bunch of fakers out there. There's a bunch of assholes out there. So if you're a real G, a young G, connect with me. And, you know, maybe you could network and start a clan or some shit like that. I don't know. But, yeah, that's it for the video. Have a good day, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out. Oh, fuck.